Hello and welcome back to my magic world of Zine. So, I looked at my map and there is in fact still something left to do out in the overworld here. So that is my plan. Uh, yeah. Basically we went through the, uh, the territory for was barbarians, but we didn't really explore everything enough. So let's just go here and just go here that we have never actually been to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and yeah, there are even enemies to fight. Still don't really know what these are, but hey. I don't think I wish to know. Okay, well, there are things rejoin, but I want to go forward. I see you there. Also, yeah, footstep sounds. Once again, using fluid. It's fairly good, actually, at this whole thing. And there's a hut. A strange rope rises up through the ceiling. Climb? Uh, well, actually, how about I cast clairvoyance? Maybe. Oh dear! What the heck? <laughs> yeah! 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 Really? Oh, come on. At this point, I might as well just restart, really. But okay, so this leads directly to the sky. Who thought that having a rope go directly to the sky is a good idea? Oh yeah, and I didn't rest actually. So let's rest. Pleasant dreams! <laughs> Interesting, that actually didn't happen uh, last time I rested. Maybe it has to do with resting outside? Hmm, maybe. Okay, so now I know not to climb here. But more importantly, there are things here. With five sapphire rocks, I will make a weapon or a piece of armor for you. The cost is 400 gems. Do you accept? Hmm... Five sapphire rocks. Interesting, I think this is the game's crafting mechanic? If I can find things and get a lot of gems, then I might be able to get random items from this place. So that is interesting, but I'm not too sure if it's really worth it. With five emerald rocks, I will make a weapon or a piece of armor for you. The cost is 200 gems. Do ye accept? Ye... Yeah. No. With five ruby rocks, I will make a weapon or piece of armor for you. The cost is 100 gems. Do you accept? It's Linus! And no. Oh, hi there. And I see a dungeon there, but I don't think I really want to go see it. Also, double kill, okay. Brass glaive, bronze boots, nothing interesting. It was... I see you there. What's here? Will the party pray? Uh, will my clairvoyance do anything? Looks like it won't. Recognizing the urgency of your quest, the gods grant you three levels. Well, gee. Uh, does this go into my auto notes? Yes. Okay, so this is permanent. 
it in that we can always go here and get the three levels. Also, it's convenient because it gives it to everyone in one time, so, yeah. Well, I might as well even put down a Lloyd's Beacon here, because right now it's like in Castle View, yeah. Oh, and it's day. Well, gee! <laughs> okay. I don't really think I need to go that way, though. There's, like, nothing there as far as I can tell from my clue book. Yeah, so I might as well just go back. In fact, the place that we need to go to is, uh... I think the light side. So let's get back there. Did I read this? I think I did. Yeah, let's just go here. Got a pass? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the light side. And here in the light side, I want to do pretty much the same thing. Just explore some more of this place. And the last time we ended our exploration somewhere around here. Also, there was water we could not go into, but now we can. So let's go there. Hey. I don't think there's any point to being here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. But there is something out here. Yeah, the interesting is flaring. I can't really tell where I am. There's a note in the bottle. Oh, another enchant item. Scroll. Okay. It might be of some use. Also, I think I want to look at my map, because it's a bit disorienting. But yeah, the maps in the clue book... The ones in the light side are a lot better than the ones on the dark side. Uh, because they actually tell you which monsters are where, and the dark side maps just tell you which monsters are in which quadrant for areas, and that's a lot of space. So I see something there. And I can't really do anything about it. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Okay, so now I know about where I am. So... What I want to do is go a bit north. And here's another shrine. Oh, Shrine of Electricity. Nice. So when in need of a buff like that, I will be able to return here. And there's another shrine like that. I hate the safe. I've been trapped here since I died. Crashing forward and pulling back. Forward and back. Forward and back. I am sick of it! If you bring me my skull and cast it into the surf here, I will be set free! I think my skull was pulled by the currents to the south and lies near the edge of the void. Retrieve my skull and I will teach you a spell before I go. Hmm. To the south? 
that's not too far away because this is the southern region. Might as well try and get that. Also, good, no enemies that we can see. Also, we cannot go because this is deep water. And it's a good thing we cannot go there because, according to my clue book, there are really nasty enemies there. Alright, so I don't think there is anything in the forest, then. Well, let's go explore the swamp a bit, I guess? There's also... oh. Hi there. Alright, I also have a Day of Protection, but I can't even cast it because we don't have enough spell points for that. Which would be actually useful right now, but uh, let's just use Protection from Electricity. Now we are completely impervious to their spells. That's actually the other island. That's right. Now let's see what's in here. No, oh, a belt. Ooh, a lucky belt. Hmm. Who doesn't have one? You, you, and you. Okay, this is perfect for Chekhov. So this is good. And yes, there is another warp to the dark side. But I'm not too sure where it goes. I don't think it goes where the uh, uh, where we just were, so I don't really want to go there and find myself in a more dangerous area. So instead, let's just go explore here. Actually, yeah, I might as well also cast Levitation, just to be on the safe side. But so far, I'm not seeing much here. Thing is, there is supposed to be a skull here. We did get the quest, right? Yes. So where is the skull? We are at the southern point of the place. And I'll need to rest soon. This game really does not value your time. Time goes by like crazy because you need to rest or else your people will become crazy and whatnot. And everything, every facility takes one day to enter. That's silly. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. Found the skull. Another bottle. Mace. Steel mace. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. I'm not too sure if it's better than the poisonous mace. We have toxic cutlass and toxic crossbow, which are hilariously good. 
because they deal 16 points of poison damage. That's a whole lot. So we probably won't be uh, changing that anytime soon. Oh, hi right there, Swamp Thing. No, I actually want to go here. Am I missing something? Possibly. These things sure are resistant. Right, I need to get back there and turn in the skull, but let's first look at what we can find here. So how's your curse? Ah, so good. Not too sure if it gets worse. I would assume so, but I'm not entirely certain. Oh. that. They discovered a cave full of blue speckled sprite eggs. Crush the eggs? Yes. You ruined the nesting places and crush the eggs. 10,000 experience. Couple escape helm. Ringnail helm. A cave? Pfft. Really? Wow. Oh, there's another shocking helm. That's actually pretty good. Poisonous ring nail. I don't think that's going to be useful. Yeah, we have ebony ring nail, which is pretty good. Okay. Actually, speaking of which, how is our experience? Uh, 100 more. Everyone else is eligible to try it. Okay. Really? Okay. So everyone except the elves are eligible to train. Oh well, nobody likes Vulcans, apparently. Well, let's go here. Oh, hi there. Seeing something else here, actually. First, a bottle. Another enchant item scroll. I'm getting a lot of them, and I kind of want to use them. Hmm. Well, maybe I should then. Uh. But first, where was that guy? I think he was here. Let's save also. Aha! My skull! Thank you! Already I can feel my tide of this world fading. Listen to the sound of the surf for your spell. Oh, recharge item. Okay. And 40,000 experience. Not bad. That brings them much closer to the new and experience level. Cool. Okay. I don't think I want to do anything else here. Actually, wait. <laughs> okay. There is still one thing that I want to look at, and it's down here in the forest. Yeah, like this. There's a clearing here. Why is there a clearing here? Oh. Oh. It's some kind of a wand that sparkles. You have found a fairy wand! We got a fairy wand. I'm not sure what to do with it, but okay. It's pretty cool, I guess. Alright. Hey. More swarms. Oh yes, let's go back... Uh, well, yeah, let's go to River City.
Oh, that's Night Shadow, that's right. No, I don't want to go to Night Shadow just yet. In that case... Uh, but still... Well, maybe I do want to go to Night Shadow. Now well, let's try, because I think I have Tron and Dead, so I should be fine. So far, so good. There seem to be vampires or something here. Find nothing in the tree. Gems! Oh, nice. Oh. It's a bat queen! Alright, what is a bat queen? Seven hundred experience, fifty hit points, ten AC, twenty-two speed. Two attacks for two to thirty points of damage. Physical damage, no range attack. Bat queens are the daylight versions of the gnome vampires that inhabit the town of Nightshadow. Okay. Bat queens are not very powerful monsters, but they can magically weaken their opponents. Alright. They certainly are not very tough opponents. <laughs> also, I don't have clairvoyance on, really. Okay, well, so far... It's not bad. Oh. And that's a gnome vampire. Okay, so what's a gnome vampire? Twelve thousand experience, eighty hit points, eighteen AC, three six speed, two attacks for three to forty eight points of damage. Physical damage type, no rage attack. Gnome vampires are members of the undead. These monsters are both both physically tough and ninety percent resistant to all elements but fire. Their touch drains spell points. Gnome vampires will swing at paladins first. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. They say maybe, so that's probably that probably means it's empty. Oh, 999 gold and a cape. Cape is pretty appreciated. Pfft, a brass cape, come on. Give us an actual good cape. Oh, well, at least the gem is fairly useful. As the spring, okay. No, oh, this is good. Plate armor. Iron plate armor. Uh, I have silver, I think that's better than iron. Okay. Nothing in the tree. Gnome home. And uh, more of these guys. I can deal with them. Got a cutlass. Pearl one. Eh. Longsword. Flashing longsword. That's probably energy resistance. Not bad all in all. Nothing in this tree. Only at night can you put up a fight. Well, yeah, it's night. I hope that doesn't mean that in daytime we will get absolutely murdered. Because that would not be nice. Oh, hi there. Let's see... 
solar clock. Sundial is set to 12. I have no idea what this is. But I'm sure we will get an explanation. Dials are pro properly set. The count will definitely be upset. Hmm. The count, you say? No, oh, hi there. I don't really know what these are all about, but uh, let's check all of these places out anyway. Oh, this is good. Splint mail. Steel, huh, not bad. Yeah, that could be better than the acidic one. Oh, acidic just adds to acid protection, which is a lot less common than the use for regular AC because pretty much everything deals physical damage. And got skill armor. Bronze. Eh. But what I'm really looking for is a temple, so I could cure uh, Kirk there. Of course, I could just warp back to uh, Vertigo, which I probably will do if I don't find a temple soon. 2 a.m. Yeah, we have plenty of time uh, during the night. Open his coffin and bid him farewell. Only then can you use the magic of the well. Uh, that's probably referring to the Count. A stitch in time. Okay. Lives of a cat. Nine. So I probably need to put one of the dials on nine. And a stitch in time, I'm not really certain. Twelve, maybe? What is this? Because you are still alive, I will have to charge you 250 gold to join Night Shadow's guild. I'm not too sure what guilds are worth it, but 250 gold is not a whole lot, so I might as well just give it to everyone. This goes there. Moon Guild. Yes. Well, Welcome well. to the guild! Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, poison volley. That's good. Fire six poison arrows into each square in front of the party. The arrows do ten points of poison damage. Enjoy! One of those rare, uh, cone attack spells. Identify monster, detect monster, not useful. Members only! Deadly Swarm, yeah, pretty good. Enjoy! As for him, hmm, yeah, take Nature's Cure. Enjoy! Otherwise, Cold Ray Deadly Swarm. I don't really think he needs Cold Ray, well, uh, it inflicts on all visible monsters, so I think that's still useful. Enjoy! Deadly Swarm... Is a group spell, yeah. Uh, might as well. Enjoy! Holy Bones Suppress Disease. Arisen and Bless. I don't think I really want these, not right now anyway. Okay, but this is not in any shape or form a temple. So where can I find one? Hmm. There's well. 
Hmm. And this just goes back where we started. So, what goes? Hmm. Possibly that means that the temple is somewhere uh, in another area through gates. But that is weird. Well, I might as well try opening some gates then. That's a set of gates. Lots of trees. Gems are pretty useful. As you can see, a lot of people actually ask for them. Refuse to budge. A symbol etched on the surface of the lid flashes pale blue whenever you try to move it. Oh, so that might actually be the Count himself. Hmm. And I probably need to solve the uh, dial puzzle for that. That's not what I am looking for. Uh, well, whatever. I might as well just go back to Vertigo then. So next time we'll do something. I'll figure that out. So, see you then. Later.